the fact that she has the armband, it's like this a total cultural meshing and melding. I'm Suzanne Cart. I'm the senior curator at the Art Gallery of Burlington. We're here in the Perry Gallery with an exhibition, Invisible, curated by Hitoko Okada, the head of programming at the AGB, with two Toronto-based artists, Mirosetti and Marina Dempster. The exhibition looks at adornment and fashion and how it could be used to armor oneself against visible and or invisible harms. Mirosetti is an interdisciplinary visual artist whose effective research-based practice explores the body, dress, garments, and materiality from critical, feminist, and anti-colonial perspectives. A lot of the work that Mira does is really looking at the history of fabric, where it's produced, how it's produced. In these works, not only with the painting, but there's an inlay of material as well. And then we have the work of Marina Dempster, which is a craft that is slow and meditative, looking at pre-Columbian traditions of yarn painting. She explores the human paradoxes of comfort and discomfort, stillness and action, acceptance and change. As a craft-based institution, it's nice to be able to have objects that speak to larger political issues. This is a work by Manira El Kadiri. It is an immersive video installation uh, called Diver. Manira's work really looks at the pre and post oil world in the Gulf, part of which is looking at her own implications with extractive capitalism in the country. In the video, you'll see four synchronized swimmers with dichroic bodysuits. The sheen of the bodysuits is that of pearls as well as oil. Pearl harvesting and diving was the industry before the oil industry in the Gulf. The song that you're hearing is a traditional pearl diving song that her grandfather would have sung on their pearl diving boats. So at the AGB, we also have a greenhouse, our conservatory. We have a crew of volunteers that come in and maintain it. Oh, this one's, it's starting to fruit. This is the Lakeshore Gallery, where you see the work of Larry Weand. It's an exhibition called Peeling a Sticker Off of an Overripe Pear, curated by associate educator Tara Bursi. At the AGB, we're really at the intersection of craft and contemporary art. Larry's exhibition is a perfect example of that, is where a traditional craft meets that of ideas. St. John's-based artist Larry Weand explores family and memory through yarn and cloth, transforming moments of time into two- and three-dimensional rugs. As you can see, the work that they have is fun, it's bright, it's colorful, and they're also a safe way to start conversation around mental health, intergenerational dysphoria, trauma, and the act of making as a coping mechanism. And it occupies the space where narrative, psychological resistance, map making, and food intersect. <laughs>